More than a handful of us have been there. You've parked your bike after a ride, fully expecting to hit the road again after a few days or a few weeks. Now it's been two years and you're ready to ride again. Problem is, your bike isn't. There are a multitude of issues. One of them could be plugged or fouled fuel injectors from old gunky gas being pushed to the fuel injection system after you've replaced your battery. Today at MC Garage, we're gonna show you how to clean your fuel injectors. In our last MC Garage, we covered step one on getting your bike back on the road, a new battery. A link to that video is down in the description. Now the bike turns over, you've got an FI light blinking on your dash. It was all good before the bike was parked, so you can safely surmise that your issues come from bad fuel. Fuel can go bad quickly, even in a matter of weeks. But in our case, two years has not been kind to the small amount of fuel in our tank. Volatile components evaporate and then the gasoline contains a gummy residue of stuff that doesn't evaporate. Even worse, if your gas contains ethanol, it could attract moisture, which then leads to corrosion in the steel tank or metal parts in the fuel pump and injectors. But how do we get those injectors clean? Dump a bunch of fuel injector cleaner in the tank with fresh fuel and hope for the best? We are way past that, my friends. Maybe, and I stress maybe, if you're a month or two into sitting, that might work. But there's too much crud and too much gunk in the lines now to hope for the best. It's time to assume the worst. It's time to clean your injectors. And as daunting as that sounds, it's actually pretty easy. Motion Pro makes a really nice tool that allows you to clean your injectors. First things first, you gotta get to them. Disconnect the battery before removing everything in order to access those injectors. For this GSXR 1000, that means we need to remove the tank and the airbox. Then we have to pull the bank of throttle bodies to get to both rails of injectors. Disconnect the injectors, remove the hardware holding the injectors in the bodies, and then gently pull them out. Don't torque on them too much or you might damage them. Then your snazzy Motion Pro tool is going to be useless. First, install the engine side of the injector into one of the two ports of the tool. Clamp down the injector with the connector facing to the outside of the tool. Don't over tighten the clamp or you could damage the injector. You just want the O-ring to seal fully. Then install the connector for your model of bike to the tool and the injector. When you press the red button, the internal nine volt battery opens the injector solenoid to allow you to pass cleaner through the injector. Loosen the red knob and insert the tube from an aerosol can of injector or carb cleaner. Tighten the knob back down lightly to seal the tube to the tool. Press the red button and then spray the cleaner through the injector to back flush that unit. This will push any debris that is accumulated in the injector out through the backside. You won't see a spray pattern here, just the fluid bubbling out. Now it's time to turn the injector around to clean the nozzle from the other direction. Remove the first O-ring and place the injector into the tool fuel supply side first. Once again, use the clamp to seal the injector to the tool. Don't over tighten the clamp and make sure the connector is facing towards the outside of the tool. Again, seal the red tube with the red knob, press the red button and dispense the cleaner. This time you should see an even spray pattern. If not, give it a minute to soak and try again. If you still have an issue, repeat the back flush. Repeat the process for each injector, that's eight in total for this GSX-R1000, and then reinstall the injectors. Don't forget the O-ring that you removed earlier. Before you do install the injectors, look over all the O-rings for issues and you should flush the fuel rail as well. We found a few more issues with this Jixer, so we're gonna address those in the next couple of videos. When we removed the throttle bodies, the left side of the manifold was loose, which could cause some issues with dirt ingestion if the filter was clogged. This one wasn't, but just to be safe, we wanna do a quick compression check. And then we just need to clean the fuel pump and the tank. But for now, that's it for cleaning the injectors. It takes some time, but with this Motion Pro fuel injector cleaner, it's pretty easy. So that's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Of course, you're gonna have questions and comments, so put them down below, and we'll see you next time.